let's briefly discuss the LLCC A to Z database list as a starting point for research. The A to Z database list is one of two ways to begin your search process, the other being the LLCC Search and Discover search box. While the Search and Discover box has the power to search everything at once, using the LLCC A to Z database list can aid in narrowing your focus to specific databases of interest. Before I go further, let's define the term database. Simply put, a library database is an online searchable collection of databases. LLCC library subscribes to each of the databases listed, and each subscription allows us to access different bundles of information. Simply put, each of these databases listed here um, have different bundles of information. So what you may get in this bundle may not be the same that you get in this bundle. Occasionally, there is overlap between different databases and its content. As you browse the list of databases, um, it's not always easy to intuit what the focus of each database is by its title. Uh, for instance, CINAHL. What does that mean? What does it cover? Would it be in useful for the topic I'm interested in? You will notice that there is an eye icon next to each database title. Hovering your mouse over the eye will provide more information about the selected database and its area of focus. While this is helpful, this task can be labor intensive if you were to go through and do this um, in order to figure out which of the 126 databases Lincoln Land has is good for you. My quick tip is to become familiar with the first drop down box titled All Subjects, which is located underneath the big A to Z databases blue banner. By clicking on the drop down box, you will see that all of LLCC Libraries databases have been broken down into corresponding subject areas. This is not only a huge time saver, but also a great way to begin researching. So by going through this list, you will notice that we have gone through and said, if your subject of interest is economics, we have nine databases in economics um, that may be of particular interest to you. If you're interested in mathematics, we have two databases that may be of interest to you. So the number that you see in parentheses behind each subject corresponds to the number of databases we have within that group. Sometimes you need to step back from your research question and ask yourself, what is the subject area my topic or research question or thesis rooted in? By selecting a specific subject, you are drastically narrowing the number of databases you need to look at which I always say is working smarter, not harder. For instance, if your topic is recycling or pollution, you may scroll through this list and see that we have uh, a subject area called environmental studies, and there are five databases connected to that. I can select this, and my page will update to show me those five databases housed within environmental studies. And I can always go back if I want to browse this list of subjects again. Remember that your research may be interdisciplinary, so you may want to explore some of the databases from another subject as well for a particular assignment or paper that you are working on.